So I recently picked up a copy of Carl Jung's Red Book, um, also known as Liber Novus. I was going really back and forth on whether or not I wanted to order the reader's edition or get the actual facsimile version, uh, which is this. This is the hardcore facsimile Philemon published edition of Carl Jung's Red Book. Um, Philemon is a dream character that came to Carl Jung in his dreams um, during the time when he wrote this, compiled this work, and he was a dream character that served as Carl Jung's uh, psychological guru, for a lack of a better term. Um, a quick quote from Carl Jung about Philemon. Philemon was simply a superior knowledge, and he taught me psychological objectivity and the actuality of the soul. He formulated and expressed everything which I had ever thought. So he was a pretty important character in uh, Carl Jung's dream work, um, definitely a guiding light for him, according to himself. And a... Uh, group of people after Carl Jung died started a foundation called the Philemon Foundation based on this character and I believe they just spend most of their time translating and um, making available Carl Jung's uh, less known works for the public. Um, so here's the book, it's the hardcover edition edited and introduced by Sonu Samdasani probably didn't pronounce that right, but that's all right. Uh, so the very beginning of the book is a preface, um, and then there's a little bit of an introduction, and then it jumps right into Carl Jung's actual work which was in his little red book that he made back in the early 1900s. So that was the intro. Um, Carl Jung's facsimile version starts right here. Libra Primus. Um, it's absolutely beautiful printing. Uh, I don't think I've ever owned anything like this. It's just some of the most authentic lurking work I've ever seen in my life. I really like reading things where the author was said to have gone mad while writing, um, and many people said that about him during this time period of his life. Um, he even said it about himself. But this artwork is uh, very mythological. Um, you can definitely tell <laughs> where he got his inspiration from, years and years of reading all forms of mythology throughout pretty much all cultures. Uh, this is all in original German, so obviously, unless you can read German, this will be of no use to you. Um, but there are very good footnotes with, um, with number markers for the pages in the back version. Um, so you can take a You can take a footnote number and you can go to the front of the book and you can just find that same image. And what I've been doing when I read it is I just take a picture. Um, I mean, there's probably like 20 or 30 of Carl Jung's original artwork in here. And um, I just take a picture of each one and then kind of give it a little number. And that way I don't have to keep flipping back and forth between the front and the back. I can just see the picture that 
uh, whatever paragraph is referring to in the translation. Uh, and I find that to be a lot easier. This is a very heavy book. Um, <laughs> probably 15, 20 pounds. So without further ado, I think I'm just going to turn these pages and probably just fast forward it in the video for time's sake. Alright, so that was Carl Jung's facsimile version, um, exactly what was in his book. Uh, and that was about half the book, and then once you get to the midway point, you have the English translation, which is um, it's a little daunting, because this is a very big book. Um, and I don't mean thick, it's tall, so each page is about maybe two pages of a normal size book. Um, there's definitely a lot in here, but I think that it was definitely worth uh, the money. It was about $120 after shipping, and um, I've just never owned anything like this before, and I just think it's a pretty good purchase. So I hope you liked uh, this quick little inside view of Carl Jung's Red Book, the Philemon edition. Have a great day.